everybody welcome back to the youtube channel today i have a video that's kind of different we are going to be doing a diy jellyfish costume i am so excited about this um, i'm going to list all of the materials that we're going to be using down in the description box as well as links to different items that i ended up using uh, for the costume itself keep in mind that a lot of the things that you're going to be using for this costume are things that you can use uh, around your house later on like the umbrella, the batteries, and well, the bags you can just toss, uh, lights, all of the stuff you can use for decorations in the future that way you don't have to spend again. One thing you should know about me is that I absolutely adore Halloween and the holiday season. It is my favorite time of the year and Halloween is my second favorite holiday. And yeah, every time I get an opportunity to dress up, I will take it and I will do my own costume and try to recreate something cool and awesome with the stuff that I have around the house. I do want to encourage you to do your own research and see if you can find maybe cheaper alternatives if you don't have all the materials. I know doing a Halloween costume sometimes can be a lot of, a little bit more expensive than actually buying one. The sky's the limit, so be creative. You don't have to use the exact same things that I am using. These are just the things, again, that I had around the house and that were available to me. The goal here is to minimize spending and minimize the amount of items that you are bringing into your house. So without further ado, let's get started, my friends. All right, so here you have the umbrella that I'm gonna be using. You're gonna need a clear umbrella, which you can get from Amazon or eBay or Target for $20. I got mine four years ago and it's still going strong. And just make sure that it ends up looking like this when you open it. Make sure it has that bubbly look. Um, that way it adds to the jellyfish look. You're also going to be using tape. Any type of tape will work. Also duct tape if you have that. Some scissors and also some foil French backdrop. I got the iridescent one so that it could reflect off of the other lights. This one is very, very long. It's about seven to nine feet, I believe. And I ended up having to cut it. So you might have to end up doing that just so that as you walk with your jellyfish, you don't step on your tentacles. And also you're going to end up using this neon wire lights by Lychee. They are battery operated. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right, but as you can see, these have about five different wires all connected to, into one and like I said they are battery operated they have a button there that you can see that I'm pressing the light doesn't look all that great from here but at night it looks really really nice then you're gonna also use some fairy lights I ended up getting these fairy lights that end up looking like this these are actually really nice because they come with their own remote control that you can control from uh, where you are without having to move around too much they have different settings and these are also battery operated uh, lights I got purple and I also ended up getting the blue ones. Then you're going to end up using some grocery bags. Just make sure that they are from the same store because they end up having like a different transparency. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you want to do is grab your bags and start cutting away the logo of your bags so you can do this however you want I chose to just use HEB bags and ended up cutting uh, the logo in the front and I ended up leaving the handles which I kind of regretted it uh, in down the line while I was lining the inside of the jellyfish only because it was just like it ended up being too much um, just too much extra baggage if that makes any sense once you have finished cutting all of your bags, it's time to begin lining the inside of the jellyfish. And one of the things that I want you to keep in mind is the wires at the top at the top of your jellyfish, the ones that help it close, help the umbrella open and close. And you want to make sure that you cut all the bags to kind of frame the wire so there you can kind of see where I cut it and now I'm like just kind of taping it around the goal is here to line the entire inside of your jellyfish with bags now this is something that I came across throughout my research where you don't have to use bags but I ended up using bags because it's something that I had readily available and quite honestly, I didn't want to spend on extra fabric or extra special type of 
uh, lining material. So I ended up just using what I had. Once you have already lined the inside of your jellyfish, you want to kind of go around checking for empty uh, plastic spots. Just you want to avoid those altogether. So there you can kind of see where I found one and I am securing it with more tape. Then finally, you want to lift up your umbrella, see how it closes and how it opens again, because you want to see how the plastic uh, bags just react to that movement. If there are any bags that become loose or undone, this is your time to fix or add extra support to where it's needed. So I taped every single step of the tutorial for you guys, but the footage ended up being damaged. So I had to just come back and uh, re-fix every single step so I could explain this to you and refilm it. What you want to do is take the wire that's attached immediately after the uh, remote of the uh, neon wire lights and just tape that to the handle of your umbrella. You want to make sure that you do this uh, carefully that way it doesn't come in between the button that helps you close and open the umbrella once you have done that just pick it up make sure that it feels right to your hand um, and that is positioned in a place where you it feel comfortable comfortable to you the next thing you want to do as i said before these neon lights came with five different strings all attached into one if that makes any sense and you're going to take one string and just put it to one side of the umbrella so you're going to kind of even those out for the entire umbrella again i got blue and white uh, so i'm kind of putting the blue one here as you can see you want to make sure that you take for this one for this step you might need duct tape or just any tape that's a little bit stronger than any regular tape just so that the uh, tentacles or the lights uh, stay where they need to be and you want to do this with all of the string lights for both the blue and the white neon wire lights I'm also going to leave a couple of uh, tentacles or a couple of string neon lights in the middle just so that they can kind of serve as some body in the middle of the jellyfish it's not just like around the rim of the umbrella now where it's time to tape our fairy lights onto the body of the jellyfish and you want to take your lights and just adjust it in the middle and then begin taping all around the inside of your jellyfish. So those are my blue lights and I went around and just taped them all around. Alright so the next thing you want to do is you want to cut your foil fringe in different pieces and just place them on different sides of the umbrella. Here you can see me kind of reinforcing this part of the fringe which was seemed like it was falling apart so I just put more extra tape. You just want to make sure that you put this fringe all on every single side of the uh, jellyfish and these are going to serve as extra tentacles. For the last step of this tutorial you are going to feel around the jellyfish, see where you need extra tape, making sure that all of the uh, bags are in place and then you're going to end up lifting your jellyfish making sure that it feels okay to your hands and you are done. tutorial for a jellyfish costume if you end up recreating this look go ahead and tag me on my social media accounts which i have included down below comment and tell me what you think about this idea i know it could be a little bit a little bit crazy for some but i think it's really cool to have a glow in the dark costume so if you're into halloween at all i'm really curious to see if people love halloween as much as i do probably not <laughs> but anyway i'm so curious to see if you've ever done any um 
of your own costumes and if so how did they end up looking if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future thank you so much and stay adventurous my friends happy halloween bye